first thing that we're going to do here is create the parent object, set the position to zeros across the board, and onto this we are going to attach everything else. So let's click on our model down here, make sure that you have all of the textures and materials. And over in the material section, use external materials legacy and also set the rig to humanoid and click apply. And after it's done, you should see the model is now properly textured. There's a little check mark on there. And then what we want to do is create a reference cube. This is going to be our height reference. So set the Y scale to 1.8 and then set the Y position to 0 0.9. And so this is essentially a measuring stick that we're going to use to make sure that the model is the correct height in the game. So drag the avatar model onto the parent object and then we're just going to scale it down to make sure that it fits over that cube. You can just eyeball this. It, you know, you want it to be as exact as you can, but it, it should be good enough. So you can toggle the model on and off, just if you want to double check. I think this looks pretty good. And then just delete the cube. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And so now we are going to um, clasp the hands on this model. It uses blend shapes to open and close the hands so that we will be grabbing the sabers in game. And now we need to create some empties. So on the parent object, create four different empties. The first one is for the head. I believe this is where the uh, VR headset is going to be. And then we want one for the body that's just going to be zero 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 and then there's one for the left hand and one for the right hand so let's position the head directly in front of the eyes right in the center you can do this by using the movement arrows to make sure that you don't accidentally uh, move it along the wrong axis that looks good and then for the left hand, we want to position it directly in the center of the fist. You can see here that you also have to rotate it. This is very important so that the sabers will appear uh, in the correct orientation. So have it point at the wrist just like that. And then we're going to do a little trick here and just copy the component from that transform and paste it onto the right hand so that it's in the exact same spot and then reverse the x value so that it moves over to the other side and then reverse the z rotation so that it points to the correct position so now you have both the left and right hand pointing at the wrists so now we are going to add the IK manager and the VR IK script. The IK manager will solve the um, like correct positions for IK in the game. So right now we want to find the left wrist and we're going to create an empty here so that the empty is created exactly where the left wrist is and then move that down to the left hand empty that we created before and rename it left hand target. And then we're just going to do the same thing for the right hand. Just create an empty exactly where the wrist is and drag it, and move it down there. And we're going to be using these objects for the uh, VRIK script. We also need one for the head, just to put it exactly where the head object is and rename that one head target as well. So now over here on the IK manager, just drag those objects over. So what this will do is it'll populate the VR IK script for you when you run the game. So we don't actually have to do anything with that here in Unity. 
All right, so the final step here is to add an avatar descriptor to the uh, parent object. This is the avatar name and author. And then open up the avatar exporter window. And before we export, let's just check that all of our shaders are set to the Beat Saber compatible shaders. If you don't do this, it might appear incorrectly in the game but it all looks good for now. So uh, let's go ahead and click export. Go ahead and export it into the custom avatars folder. And you can save the Unity project if you want, but uh, we're not gonna do that here. All right, so once that's done, that should be it. You should be able to open it up in the game and see if it all worked out.